Hello and welcome back to the SCS Academy, a series of videos designed to highlight areas of Super Club Soccer's gameplay and offer advice on how to succeed. In this episode, we'll focus on dribbling, which is a great way to lure defenders out of position. We'll cover the key stats for dribbling, when it's effective to dribble, and how opposition stats affect your dribbles. The key stats for dribbling are dribble, agility and technique. Training these regularly will boost your chances of success. Perhaps more important are the tackling stats of your opponent. Should they have high stats in this area, careful consideration needs to be taken when making dribbling decisions. Shorter dribbles allow you to hold the play up and potentially draw a defender to create space for a teammate. However, it does give the opposition a chance to catch up or get back into their defensive shape. When dribbling, consider the direction your opponents are facing and attempt to dribble at an opposite angle to stop them catching you. On some occasions you may be caught, but their tackle may fail, leaving them even further out of position. In spite of this, the best rule is always to dribble away from players, as you are unlikely to dribble through them. Longer dribbles offer you the ability to make up more ground, but also defenders more time to make a tackle. Taking a longer dribble when there's a large amount of space is effective and can give teammates time to catch up to the play. Like defending last week, positioning is key and being aware of your opponent's strengths and weaknesses will help you dribble more successfully. Thank you for watching this episode of the SCS Academy. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments as well as any ideas you have for future episodes of the series. Check out Super Club Soccer on Twitter, Facebook and Steam to stay up to date with what we're working on and join our Discord to find a team to compete with.